वेलकम टू सावी आई टी सोल्यूशन दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन प्रोग्रामिंग इन सी नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अलग एरेम्स आलरेडी वी मेन्शन इन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोग्रामिंग अलग एरेम इज इंग स्टेप बै स्टेप प्रोसीजर टू साव ए प्रॉब्लम नाउ वी नीड टू गो इन ए डीपर वे सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन डेफिनेशन properties of an algorithm characteristics of an algorithm writing an algorithm basic statements used and examples and analysis of algorithm in the next video we will take few examples of all uh, take the few examples how we need to write an algorithm okay so an algorithm is a procedure or a formula for solving a problem the word derives from the name of the mathematician mohammed ibn mushal kawasmi who was part of the royal court in so and so so he was well in algebra this is the person and he was introduced in 7 782 to 850 this is very old so now the definitions are we are we are mentioning eight six definitions an algorithm may be defined as a finite sequence of steps each of which is precise unambiguous and executable in a finite time the second definition an algorithm is a well ordered collection of unambiguous and effectively computable operations that when executed produces a result and holds in a finite amount of time a step by step method of solving problems or making decisions as in making a diagnosis and fourth definition an established mechanical procedure for solving certain mathematical problems and an algorithm is a set of instructions to be followed to solve a problem there can be more than one solution to solve a given problem and an algorithm can be implemented using different programming languages of on different platforms and the sixth one is an algorithm must be correct it should correctly solve the problem example for sorting this means even if one the input is already sorted or two it contain it contains repeated elements now Uh, once we have a correct algorithm for a problem we have to determine the efficiency of that algorithm there are two aspects of algorithm performance one is time and second one is space time instructions take time how fast does the algorithm perform what affects its run time space data structures take space what kind of data structures can be used how does choose of data structure affect the run time now the second one is properties of third one is properties of an algorithm properties of an algorithm consists of finiteness finiteness definiteness input output effectiveness finiteness an algorithm must always terminate after a finite number of steps definiteness each step must be clearly defined that actions carried out must be unambiguous input input should be provided at the beginning of algorithm output algorithm must produce on or more output effectiveness all the operations defined must be sufficiently basic that they can be done exactly in finite length of time manually what makes a good algorithm correctness easy of understanding elegance and efficiency now characteristics of an algorithm an algorithm begins with instructions to accept inputs these inputs are produced by the subsequent instructions in algorithm the processing rules specified in the algorithm must be precise and unambiguous each instruction must be sufficiently basic such that a person with paper and pencil can carry it out in finite time the total time to carry out all the steps in the algorithm must be finite an algorithm may contain instructions to repeatedly carry out a group of instructions this implies that 
द नंबर ऑफ रिपीटेशन मस्ट बी फाइनेट एन आलगरदम मस्ट प्रोड्यूस वन आर मोर आउटपुट्स नेमली द रिजल्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेसिंग द इनपुट सो विद दिस डेफिनेशन वी कैन ऐडेंटिफाई फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन आलगरदम आलगरदम सॉल वेल वेल आर्डर्ड आलगरदम्स हैव अनाबियस ऑपरेशन आलगरदम्स हैव एफेक्टिवली कंपटेबल ऑपरेशन आलगरदम्स प्रोड्यूस ए रिजल्ट आलगरदम्स हॉल्ट इन ए फाइनेट अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड द फिफ्थ वन राइटिंग एन आलगरदम writing an algorithm the given problem is analyzed the solution method is broken down into a sequence of elementary tasks based on this analysis an algorithm should be prepared which is precise cosine and unambiguous a good and correct algorithm must terminate when it terminate it it must produce a correct output it should be as efficient as possible must terminate time limit memory limit output limit exceeded will be given when it when it terminates the famous wrong answer replace will be given it should be an efficient as possible time limit time limit exceeded will be given now we are giving basic instructions or basic statements how we need to write an algorithm the first statement is algorithm always begin with the word start and ends with the word stop now step wise solution is written in distinguished steps start step 1 step 2 step 3 so on step n and end the third one is input statement algorithm takes one or more inputs to process the statements used to indicate the input is read keyword or input keyword so let a and b be the names of the input input a or read a input b or read b we can use a either input keyword or read keyword and uh, output statement we need to use output or print so output variable name print variable name for example output b or print b so now assignment statement processing can be done using the assignment operator uh, left hand side is equal to right hand side you know very well about this always left hand side is a variable and right side is either assigning the value or a calculations will be provided let us example read a plus a x comma y z is equal to x into y after multiplying x and y is assigned to the variable z now order in which the steps of an algorithm are executed is divided into three types sequential order conditional order and iterative order sequential order means uh, step by step procedure means sequentially first step second step third step fourth step it will be executed like this and conditional means if the condition is true some statements will be executed so in this the first syntax is if simple if if condition then set of statements we need to mention so start read a comma b if a is equal to b print number numbers are equal to each other and if you go for if else if condition then set of statements s1 else then set of statements s2 so here is marks greater than 60 step 3 is true if step 3 is true print grade a otherwise print grade b this is the way we are writing an algorithm and if it is more else if range we are using like this is marks greater than 60 the step 3 is true then print grade a else if marks greater than 50 and less than 60 print grade b else print grade c like this we need to do number of conditions we need to check so next iterative means group of statements run repeatedly here algorithm repeats the finite number of steps over and over till the condition is not met so here set count is to zero add 1 to count if count is less than 5 repeat step 3 and 4 so step 3 and 4 are continuously work out until unless the number is less than 5 otherwise print count so this is the way the iterative 
if this is the one way of representation the second way it needs for the variable name is equal to starting value to ending ending value and we need to write the statements and we need to repeat the statements this is the one way of representation so next one finally analysis of algorithm this is the one of the biggest topic in algorithms but we are not going in a deeper way but i will explain only important points and related to your concept analysis of an algorithm means to investigate an algorithm's efficiency with respect to the resources running time efficiency time efficiency memory space space efficiency okay time being more critical than space we concentrate on time efficiency of algorithms the theory developed holds good for space complexity also limitations of experiments it is necessary to implement the algorithm which may be difficult and results may not be indicative of the running time on other inputs not included in the experiment in order to compare two algorithms the same hardware and software requirements must be used now i am taking simple example the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 on n if n is greater than 0 so these three alternative algorithms are same giving the same output but the time complexity changes from one algorithm to another algorithm here so if the n is given as a number n number of times the loop will be executed so the time complexity of the first algorithm is n and in the second uh, second first for loop is from 1 to n and second for loop is 1 to j so n into n plus 1 by 2 times that is equal to n square coming to the third one this is a single statement and with uh, three calculations one is division addition and multiplication so the time complexity is three when compared to three these three algorithms the third algorithm is the more efficient algorithm when compared to 1 and 2. Similarly, order of n indicates this loop and it will be ascending like this. Order of n square using two for loops and the two for loops for i is equal to 1 to n and i is equal to 1 to i. So, first one is this like this. This is also order of n square. Thank you.